missing shots that you expect to make can be a source of frustration, especially when they go in the net. Misses into the net can feel weak, and often, even if that ball were to just get over the net, the quality of your shot will still be low. To demonstrate this, player one at the near end has just hit this type of shot, a ball that just gets over the net and is rather weak. As you can see, the outcome of this shot is a ball that lands short on the other side of the net. This gives the advantage to player two on the right, who's able to move forwards up the court and attack this ball. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but just to be clear, if a player has a short ball that they can move up the court and attack, I wouldn't recommend just standing in the middle of the court, jumping up and down in ready position. Firstly, it's just an app, they're not real tennis players. Secondly, don't interrupt me again. OK, so now we see player one has hit a shot with more power and more height over the net. This is a better quality shot because as you can see, the ball is now landing deeper on the other side of the court, which means player two is kept behind the baseline and without the attacking options that we saw in the first example. So this video is about hitting less balls in the net and improving the quality of your shots by hitting deeper balls more often. Don't worry, the magic tip isn't just to aim the ball higher over the net, although you may have some success using that strategy. What I would like you to do is to commit to hitting three balls every time you play a forehand drive or a backhand drive. So for this, the first ball is the real ball. Then I want you to imagine there's a second ball behind the first ball and then a third ball behind the second ball. By committing to hit all three balls, you will ensure better racket acceleration into the real ball and also good extension of the arm and racket through contact before the racket decelerates into the follow through. And it's that racket acceleration and extension of the arm and racket through contact point that ensures the energy you create can transfer efficiently into the ball to produce a powerful shot that is far less likely to end up in the net. Here, Serena Williams is about to hit a backhand. As you can see, I've indicated where the second and the third ball may be. They are located higher because of the natural low to high swing path. Serena's make contact with the first ball. We'll see that she will now extend forwards with the arm and racket to make contact with the second ball and further still to the third ball. But she's not finished yet. As we roll it on, we see how that arm and racket continue to extend, and you can see clearly the left arm extended out from the shoulder well past contact point before the racket naturally decelerates into a finish on the other side of the body. Here's Grigor Dimitrov hitting a forehand and we'll see the same thing as the racket moves forward to contact point. The arm and racket continue extending to make contact with the second ball and then onwards to the third ball. Once again, we see clearly how the arm is extended from the shoulder well past contact point before the racket naturally decelerates to a finish on the other side of the body. Using this technique will ensure you hit less balls into the net and also the quality of your shot will improve because the ball will be landing deeper in the court which will keep your opponent pushed back. Now let's look at a simple drill that some of our students are doing, working on the quality of their shots both on cross court and down the line shots. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope that you're able to get out there and try and put this technique into practice. I'd love to hear back to see how it worked for you 
You can leave comments underneath the video on YouTube or you can email me nick at nickwtennis.com. And I look forward to see you soon on the next video.